Welcome to uh, the J vlog number 200. This is how excited Claire is that my vlog made it to 200. So I managed to track down that uh, from yesterday's vlog. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click up here for what I'm talking about. But uh, I got a hold of those comics that we, um, me and my brother used to do. This might be cool for me and probably nobody else, um, but I think it's really interesting. I'm going to show you some comics, some art and stuff. We, I mean, some of it's 20 something years old. see what we have here look at this this is uh see my brother uh, Dan he um, he definitely was like a lot more prolific with these little comics this is a, a very early comet comic book I don't even know what this is this is early July but Dan always used to have some pretty decent art even for these little quick things like, we would draw, like, a couple of these comics a day. Oh, this is uh, the Comet. This is the VHS cover for the Comet movie that we're going to do. Uh, we never ended up doing it. But, and it's a live-action movie based on the best-selling comic book. For some reason, we already knew it was best. It was a best-selling uh, best comic, which is uh, <laughs> kind of cocky in a way. Get into the strange world of Xboxer Jimmy Carson as he gains supernatural cosmic powers from a fallen meteorite. Great special effects from the masters of great glass plate images. <laughs> Comet is a must-see. How can a movie be a must-see when it's it literally never been shot? And it's, it's all typed out in this, like, uh, typewriter? Typewriter, uh, text here. Not a computer. What else we got here? We got Carnage Comets Presents. Oh, this is my stuff. So this is Goblin X. He's a tuxedo, kind of suave gangster goblin guy. This is Stickman. This is a character called Stickman, but I don't know what this means. I remember this now. It is for a superhero formerly known as Stickman. July, late July, 1997. I don't know who writes this stuff, it's hilarious. What's actually in this comic? Let's see here. Oh, Goblin X. Okay, Chrome Dome, I must... I just about had enough of your crap for one day, and you wrecked my best suit. That was his big thing, is that he, he wore these suits. He Chrome Dome, and then he like, thuds him into the wall. Oh, and they're watching some kind of huge laptop thing. Copying Dan's comics here, trying to like create a superhero group and like some bad guys. And this is a cop thing, Billy and Vile. Some of my little brother. This is actually not bad. He never really got into the art as much, uh, uh, the drawing at least. Crab Trap Joe, Crab Guy. Yeah, see the superhero formerly known as Stickman. How do I look? Thorak. This is something that I obviously didn't even finish. 
Oh, the Christmas Spectacular. December 97. It's like a Frankenstein guy. Guy named Frog. Snakes. Guy named Scribble. Clayman. I don't know what this is. Shed the Cocoon Man? Psycho Midget Bob. Hmm. I, I have no clue what that is. So we printed comics, um, just kind of photocopied them, but we, we'd make one, not like these, um, just drawn once and that's it. We'd draw them and we'd get stories from other people from all over the world actually, and then collect them together and then we sort of published them. We'd only make about 50 or 100 copies of each one, um, but they were really cool and we, I mean, cool for the time and like, I mean, we were like 16, 17 at this time. And uh, yeah, I'll show you some of them. This is a... Uh, Hoops Nation Studios. The name is like always. Oh, I've always hated the name. Hallucination. Hallucination Studios Anthology Collection. That was kind of like the comic. It was kind of a collection of stories. I don't know why we just, we chose that. I, it was something cool at the time or something. But I mean, it wasn't about hallucinogenics or anything. Like we were uh, pretty straight arrow actually. I don't know. Maybe just we thought it sounded cool. Dan's art here on the cover. This is like his wooden. Wooden character named Cyrus. This is a September, it looks like September 99. I think that, that's probably right. We had to lay out all this before we uh, actually copied it. Oh, this is a vampire story. This is actually, Dan wrote this, but we actually designed the character. But this other artist, this guy named Kurt Belcher, who's actually uh, still draws and stuff, and he's an incredible artist. I really like the style. This is some of my art. It just didn't really, just didn't really work out. This is when I actually started sort of trying a bit, but it still like lacks a lot of like, it's a lot of static faces and stuff if you see. This is some of Dan's art. It's like his wooden character named Cyrus. It's all, it's all very cool. I don't know, I really like Dan's art in here was really, I thought it was really neat. He always had a lot more flair with his art, like a little more expressive. And just like in most uh, comics, uh, they usually have like a letters column. And we, we printed all these letters here from Oklahoma, someone from Illinois here. This is like, I mean, you gotta remember this is well before like uh, social media, Sweden here. This was our last issue we did, and it was like complex size. That was like a key. We really wanted it to be to definitely have like a, a complex, a real complex size. This is some of Dan's art here. This is when we changed the logo in it. I, I, I really like this logo. And this was a very cool cover by a guy named Steph Dumas. And he actually drew all the characters in each story in one cover. I thought it was really cool. Some more Dan's art here. Oh, this is some of my art. I think I got really lazy with this one. Unfortunately, I, that's, I just... I'd run out of time to draw things, and then this page is just like really quickly. I remember I drew this when we printed it. Oh, here's the here is the very first one. I'm trying to create this like big cavern thing. You guys find this interesting? I don't know. I, I find it fairly interesting. Um, 
it's good just to kind of like look back at like things that you did like wow in high school which is like for me it doesn't seem like a long time ago but it's like eons ago I mean it was 17 years ago I graduated high school but some of this stuff is like just during high school so it's like 20 years old it's weird this is like one of my first sketchbooks I believe for school marked by an art teacher that was really influential she was really liked uh, especially like me and my brother like what we did and I really wanted us to pursue some kind of art. She was also a very hard teacher and we, we fought and it was, it was a weird, a very weird relationship. But she actually passed away uh, during high school, um, suddenly. And uh, it's always really stuck with me, the stuff she said. This is really an interesting piece here. It's, this is obviously from my view of my desk. And you got the windows here and some kids like drawing and stuff. It's really weird. Grade nine which would have been 1996. Crazy. Ooh, the X-Men. I remember drawing this for, I drew this for somebody. I don't really know what, what is exactly. Some of my art here. really disappointed in my art here. I don't know. Very static. Oh, I drew this cover. This is a episode 200 dinner.